Glad to be on by this recording. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Start yeah. over. Okay. Start over. Okay. Did you get what I did before? No. You didn't? No. Okay. So stop now. Okay. So when you came from Virginia, you lived for, for a few years at helping at Kittley Avenue and helping the family with yeah with housework yeah right yeah and then and when I left there <coughs> uh, I got married mm -hmm. and I went to Winchester to work okay and where did you live that was in the project on Dixwell Avenue. The Young Haven high rise had just been no, there. No, uh, it wasn't a it wasn't, high rise. It was a low rise? Oh. I see. Okay. And what was it like there? It was very nice. Everything was modern compared to what it was, you know, before. So, what were some of the conveniences that you had there that other people didn't have on Dixwell Avenue? Well, not only Dixwell Avenue, the whole New Haven. What did is, uh, uh Lights. Uh, we had heat. At that time, they didn't have any heat. They used oil stoves and whatnot. Okay. So. And. Uh, so this was in the 1940s. This around was that time. around the time of World War Two. Mm -hmm. And um, tell me about the kind of work that you did at Winchester's. Oh, I, uh, we load bullets. That was one of the jobs I did. Uh, inspect shells. We packed vandaliers, you know, the soldiers that was in the service. Yes. We packed vandaliers. Okay. And uh, I did woodwork. We did hand graving, the stocks of a gun, you know, the fence hand work on yes. the stock of a gun. I learned how to do that. Wow. So, uh, there was a lot of different jobs I did there. Right, mm -hmm. right. And you became a shop steward. Yeah. What were some of the issues that, um, that people had? We, that we, had did, we, we didn't have too, I didn't have too many complaints. Because mm -hmm. uh, we had the union in there, and uh, as a rule, the people would go to the union and sell it before it got any place, you know. So it was usually pretty fair, pretty decent. Mm -hmm. Nice job, I liked it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what was Dixwell Avenue like in the 1940s? What, you know, what were some of the places that you, you liked to go to on, on Dixwell Avenue? Do you remember the Lyric Theater? Well, we yeah, I did. I visited Lyric Theater, and mostly uh, Kerry Candy Shop. I used to go over there and talk with him a lot. And uh, that was about it. Okay. Um, do you did you um, know people who went to the Dixwell Q House? Did your children go to the Q House or? Where did your children go to school? No, I only, uh, I only, at that time, I only had two sons, Frank, because Frank was, Frank was born on, I was living on Whitney Avenue when Frank was born, the oldest one. Okay. And uh, I had two children living on Dixel Avenue, Frank and Danny. Okay. Two boys. Okay. Did they go to school? In no, they was, they was babies. They were babies, mm -hmm. right. Um, what kind of what kind of candy did uh, you like to get at Curry's? Oh, he made all kind of candy. I didn't ever buy him because he gave me all the candy I want. What was but, your favorite? What kind did you like? Uh, he used to make uh, what you call it a uh, coconut bars with the chocolate over. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good, huh? Uh -huh. That's good. That's good. And what about the Lyric Theater? What kinds of things did you see there? We had good movies. Good movies? Mm -hmm. okay. Most anything they had downtown, they had it on Dixwell Avenue. Okay. And um, 
What about the Monterey Club? Did you ever go to the Monterey Club? To Once in a great while. Yeah. It was I a popular place. I though. never visit Bar of Superior. Right, mm -hmm. right, right. Um, were you involved with the Hannah Gray home at all? No. No? No. No. Okay. Uh, tell me how you got involved in political life of the city. Uh, when I moved on Division Street, uh, I met Eddie, Eddie Davis and uh, Bruce Morris, and that's when I became the chairperson of that ward. We're out the Barbaria. Mm -hmm. And uh, Bart Guido. So you, you helped to get out the vote on Election Day? You helped to yeah. get people mm -hmm. registered? I run the, uh, war. I run the uh, headquarters. Right. 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 And you also became city treasurer, right? Yeah. That was after Ella Scannerberg. Right. Uh, she was city treasurer, and I, after she resigned, then I took it over from her. Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy that work? It was mostly, yeah, it was okay, but I was still working in Winchester when I was city treasurer. Wow. Uh, it was more ceremonial. I see. Because we had a girl that did the work. I see. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so, what was it like during World War II to be, um, you know, in in New Haven? What What was life like in New Haven during World War II uh, in the nineteen forties? It was pretty quiet. Mm -hmm. Cause all the all the uh, the men's was gone, mm -hmm. and. Uh, Everybody just worked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, anything else you remember about Dixwell Avenue and, and places that you used to go on Dixwell Avenue? I never visit uh, uh, anybody on Dixwell Avenue. No. You know, I just right when you were living when you were living in, in Elm Haven. Um, where did you do your shopping and, and you know, where did you buy things? Uh, I don't forget the little store anyway. It was on Dixwell Avenue. Little store on Dixwell Avenue. But I forgot. Yeah, right, right. So, how, how do you think the city changed over the course of time that you were involved in the city? What it changed of? quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, in that part of, the, of Dixwell Avenue, it changed quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Urban renewal came. Urban renewal came. Mm. There was a lot of new new housing built. Mm. A lot of things were done. Well, see, by that time, I had bought a house, and I moved uh, right after World War Two. That's when I bought the house on Division Street. Okay. Okay. And then you were active. Is that's considered New Hall Build, right? That, yeah. That's considered New Hall Build. Right, right. Next one, I got involved in politics. Right, right, right. Um, okay, anything else you, you want to say about your, your memories of living in, in Elm Haven? No, not necessarily. Yeah, okay. I don't remember that much anyway. All right, well, that's, that's great. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, good. Good. That was wonderful. That's just right. Okay, good. So 